A very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. The Chinese coronavirus patient treated at the IDH will be discharged from the hospital this morning. The President and the Prime Minister will preside over the opening of the project to build 100,000 kilometers of road. The government to withdraw some Geneva resolutions approved by the previous government. Russia will suspend entry of Chinese citizens to its territory. In our lead story, the Chinese coronavirus patient who was being treated at the infectious disease hospital at Angoda will be discharged from the hospital this morning, according to the hospital sources. The Chinese female patient was the first confirmed case of novel coronavirus in Sri Lanka. The woman from Hobei province of China was admitted to the IDH in serious condition. She arrived in the island as a tourist with a group of fellow Chinese and was screened at the Bandaranaika International Airport for having a high fever. According to the Ministry of Health, the patient has recovered fully and is ready to be discharged. Meanwhile, health officials in China have published the first details of more than 44,000 cases of COVID-19 in the biggest study since the outbreak began. Data from the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention finds that more than 80% of the cases have been mild, with the sick and elderly most at risk. The research also points to the high risk to medical staff. A hospital director in the city of Wuhan died from the virus yesterday. President Gotabe Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha will preside over the opening of the project to build 100,000 kilometers of road in the country. The national ceremony of the initiative will be held at Deltota in Gampala this afternoon. The project will cover roads come under the linear ministries and provincial councils. The government says the development of the road network will enhance the public life in many parts of the island. Many roads countrywide will be given a facelift with the latest technology. In more news at home, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha says that apart from diplomatic relations, Sri Lanka and Japan are increasingly engaged in growing people-to-people -people connections. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha proceeded over the ceremony to accord Shasana Ratana title to Most Venerable Otani Chojun Thero at Boganji Temple in Kyoto, Japan. It was at the parliamentary complex. The Venerable Thero was honoured for his services to the Buddhist community and the Buddha Sasana. The Prime Minister also stated that the Venerable Thero is a well-respected scholar among the Buddhist community in both Sri Lanka and Japan. Speaker Karu Jayasuriya and several ministers were present on the occasion. Japan and Sri Lanka have maintained a close friendship over several decades. Our nations have stood by each other at time of difficulty, apart from the bilateral relationship between our countries. People-to-people -people contact between Japan and Sri Lanka has also flourished. The most venerable Otani to Pochun, whom we honor today, is in fact the very embodiment of solidarity between the Buddhist community of Sri Lanka and Japan. His contribution towards the building, the physical infrastructure, that may manifest the spirituality which can direct people towards good spiritual conduct can be seen throughout Japan and Sri Lanka and beyond. It was my privilege to present the Sasanapa bestowing the title of Sasana Ratna on the most venerable Otani Vajun for the services he has rendered to the Buddhist cause worldwide over the years. Still in local news, the government has taken steps to withdraw some Geneva resolutions approved by the previous government without informing the cabinet, parliament or the public. The government will take necessary steps to present evidence against allegations levelled at the government. Then external affairs minister Mangala Samaravira supported several Geneva proposals with the support of the then prime minister Ranul Vikramasinghe. These proposals presented to Geneva in 2015 and 2016 were harmful and based on a number of unilateral charges. 
In more local news regarding the water cut, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board announces that an 18-hour water cut in several areas and in Jaila. The water cut will be in effect from 8 a.m. tomorrow for Jaila, Katunaika, Sidhua, Ekala, Kerawalapitiya, Velisara, Mabole and surrounding areas. In Moniz at Home, the fifth edition of the Shane Pakistan will take place in Colombo from the 21st to the 23rd of next month. This was revealed at a media briefing held in Colombo. The festival, bringing closer the two countries through art, culture, music, food, fashion, property and trade, will be happening in Colombo. It will be a complete cultural experience with the promotion of the best food eateries, traditional Pakistani cuisines, traditional sweets, trade, property and different brands of apparel, jewellery, bags and accessories. The three-day festival also includes fashion show on the 22nd of March, which will be an evening filled with glamour, class and luxury. It will include numerous local, international designers and models. I'm very excited to be here in Sri Lanka with my fifth edition of Promising Shane Pakistan. It's a beautiful cultural tourism festival which we are bringing to connect people to people with the delicacy of music, art, fashion and why? Because it connects people. Um, we are bringing a great delegation of 100 people from Pakistan and we are promoting not only Pakistan, we are inviting the Sri Lanka to just merge with us, join us in this festival, be part of us. Because when trade and music and art is coming from another country, we celebrate it in the ground of the international country where we are presenting it. And it is a festival of happiness. It's a festival of hope. It's a festival of um, fashion. We are bringing some models from Pakistan and some media personalities and also there are great surprises that we are also bringing some cricketers for a meet and greet and these this three days you will always remember why because we make it sure that this happens on each year 21st 22nd 23rd march at slecc so we're going to invite sri lanka to pakistan and we want to promote tourism culture fashion everything also the trade barters look our economy is getting into a crunch so why shouldn't we do these kind of efforts to bring people to people and they should trade they should spend money they should enjoy together they should have fun music is the major element why because food and music connects and that is all the news for today do join us again tomorrow for the very latest have a great day and take care